for those that are on here, and you know, Sandra, every data queue I do, I never type in the box they give you. I always pull up the data queue into a Word document, upload it with attachments. So yes, I'm very impressed by how you wrote this up so far. On 6-15-23, received two violations for no or defective ABS indicator. Says no ABS indicator on vehicles manufactured after this date. That's unit one. And it says yeah. no ABS indicator for trailers. And it says the lamp on the trailer stayed illuminated. So that is for unit two. They wrote us under two separate sections, one for unit one, one for unit two, both ABS. One, because the ABS on the dash stays on. And the second one, because the trailer light stays on. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the officer wrote the ABS on the trailer stays illuminated, meaning it That's didn't cycle back off. It didn't mm -hmm. cycle back off. As mm -hmm. per the officer's comments, AB satellite was illuminated, indicating malfunction. As a result of that, we were issued this violation. That's for the trailer. However, yes. D3 issued for ABS on dash that stays on is issued for the same deficiency with the trailer ABS that we were already violated for. So you're trying to say this was called stacking, right? No, yet. Yep, tractor dash malfunction indicator was not defective and was properly transmitting malfunction signal to the anti-lock brake system as required as below. Yep, I see what you're saying. So you're saying that the malfunction staying on in the dash is not a violation. It's simply yes. the indicator to the driver that yes. the trailer was malfunctioning. So how can you write me for a violation of a light that's on in the dash when it was only indicating and properly working, right? Yes, and I quote the regulation that says that the indicator has to be on when there's a malfunction on a trailer. Yep. So D3, so you cited that, each semi-trailer, trailer, or full trailer, and subject requirements of that shall be equipped with electronics that are capable of signaling a malfunction and brake system and shall means of connecting the ABS. In addition, each trailer manufactured subject requirements that is designed and equipped. So what we're saying is you weren't in violation of this. Yes. This says that you must have this working. So why are you writing that it's staying on under a section when it was properly functioning? Mm -hmm. What did they say? Nothing. I'm waiting for you to look look at this and tell me if this is good data. Well, just I will it. tell you that I'm super impressed by your thought process here. And I am because you're absolutely right. In the regulation, in the regulation, you can't be violated unless something is not working correctly, right? Yes. In this case, it was working correctly. You see? So the only thing I would add would be this sentence, right? Mm -hmm. Speak directly to this, right? Mm -hmm. And an example would be, in all, the tractor light was not functioning improperly, right? See, I'm saying that very clearly. The tractor ABS light. Tractor dash. A tractor BS dash malfunction indicator. Yep. Well, they wrote dash light, right? Yeah, yeah, it's an indicator. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dash. So in all, the track it, the tractor ABS dash light, as indicated by the officer, was not functioning improperly, right? In on. fact, it was mm -hmm. functioning properly as outlined in the regulation noted above, right? Mm -hmm. See, the only reason I'm writing this sentence now, Sandra, is you communicated your position, but it but they need to infer, which they should unless they're stupid, right? They need to infer that in all, the dash light was indicating properly and was not malfunctioning. In fact, it was functioning properties outlined in the regulation above 
and as supported by the officer notes, right? Mm -hmm. We can only be violated for equipment that is not working properly. In this case, our unit one dash light was working properly, right? Mm -hmm. Now, they're stupid, right? So you have to say this. We are in no means asking for the unit two ABS violation to be removed in that we admit it was not functioning properly, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, why is this last set paragraph so important? Because you're at the end, after you've already outlined, if there's any confusion, you're making it very clear why you think it should be removed. And why would you put this last one in here? It concedes the fact that you're not asking for it all to be removed, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would probably add something like this and maybe getting rid of this or incorporating these two together. Like keep yours there, but add a little bit of what I wrote because see how it's very direct, yes? Okay. But what you wrote up here is very insightful. And overall, I'm very impressed with how you broke this down logically and actually read the regulation to support your position. Do I agree with you? Yeah, you're not in violation, right? Mm -hmm. So why should you get cited because something was working correctly? You should be okay. cited for the part that wasn't. So very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you.